All right, all right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of Drex the Joint being sucker punched, right, for taking a photo with a fan. Wow, already? Hold on. I barely turned my phone on this morning. I had it off all night. My bad. Uh, Drex the Joint being sucker punched for taking a photo with... What... All right, let's do this overwatch. This, this is how easy it is without having to edit. Let's go. All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of Drex the Joint being sucker punched after taking a photo with a fan now look i know we've spoke about this on uh on the 200 boys but it was a roughly fast uh you know subject it wasn't a reaction all right i, I do know that we asked a few guests how they felt i'm not sure which guests they were uh oh you know what one of them was santo g and the other one was Natalie Chacon, I think. I'm not I'm not sure, right? But whatever. Listen. This video is brought to you by No Jumper Clips. Salute to No Jumper. You got Break Baby on the panel, Lush One. And of course the white D E V I L himself, Adam22. Alright, but check this out before we press play on this video and give you this Sunday reaction that we don't ever do. Uh salute to everybody that's in the building. Make sure you guys comment down below. Make sure you guys like the video. Uh, this Tuesday we got Frosty chasing Doe in the building at 8 p.m. on the 200 Boys podcast. All right, uh, 200 Boys podcast this entire month is booked up. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are all booked up, so we're gonna start having to book for September. All right, I will pull out the flyers of the upcoming guest on the Instagram. So go over to the Instagram at the Hater World, and don't forget to follow the media team at hater world media all right with that being said salute to everybody that's out there uh salute to everybody that's putting in work uh salute to everybody that's running with them fake narratives uh and anybody uh talking about our pod or disrespecting our 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 brand do what you do you know do what you do serve your purpose whatever your purpose might be serve it uh and with that being said let's go ahead and watch this video and get you guys a blue devil reaction Let's get it. How do we feel about Drex the Joint getting allegedly sucker punched? Yeah. Maybe people will see this. Maybe we'll keep it really small. It'll be a good thing. Whoa. That was nasty. So basically, somebody walks up to Drex the Joint, who we recently interviewed. <laughs> One of the, hey, when we talk about. I told you that's why I would take pictures. Uh, all right, look, real quick, real quick. Uh, we was doing a music live, I don't know, like a couple of weeks ago, and we were playing El Negro Mexicano. Or what's that fool's name? El Moreno. El Moreno Mexicano. Or something like that, right? And somebody had requested Drex right after. And I said, I swear this, they look like brothers. Right? And then uh, everybody in the chat was like, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. And then Santo G came on and said, fool, they are brothers. So I was like, fire. <laughs> but Brick Baby just said, that's why I don't take photos. Hey, listen, you never know. You're going to walk up to a fool for a photo. It might be an uppercut, my boy. It might be an elbow out of the mouth. And you're over here trying to take a photo with the homie thinking it's all love and they gonna get you so brick baby is not wrong right he is not wrong let's go let's continue yeah. up and coming superstars out of the rasa this kid is 18 he's representing a totally different side of the south southern california upbringing that is possible to you out here people don't really know about santa Ana. we heard a lot of la tales we heard a lot of bowen park tales but 
What's it like being a kid growing up in Santa Ana? We didn't really know. Apparently, it gets pretty fucking greasy out there. Oh, so you got some sections. So, I mean, I don't know why this dude would want to. Listen, OC, people think of OC like it's not LA, right? They think of LA like being the grimiest, you know, they go Inland Empire. And they always look at Orange County like, what is that, right? And another one that they look at like that is imperial valley they look at it like what is that because these are not mentioned uh these are not mentioned when when uh i don't even want to say mention when it comes to like mainstream tv or mainstream media like movies or like uh uh uh, documentaries nobody ever does them on orange county imperial valley uh uh and there's a few others right they do it on LA, you know, they do it on San Diego. They even do it in the IE. So people have this misconception of OC is soft. But I will tell you firsthand, OC is not soft. Okay, OC falls under the Southern Cali car and they are with the business. All right, they are with all the functions. And if you fuck around and test, uh, listen, you will probably come up short. Shout out to all my peeps from the OC. Let's continue. Punch Drex in the face or what would have uh, happened after this. But, I mean, it's kind of crazy to realize that shit could get this this tricky this quickly. Because it, it, I'm guessing that's like right out in front of his his uh, area that he lives in. Basically, It kind of looks like where I've seen him do the, the, the vlog. Right. Well, so, like, uh, apparently, like you said, dude wanted, like, was pretending to be a fan, walked up, got the flick, sucker punched uh, this fool. And I guess he got, like, was a little stunned. Took him a second to kind of realize what had happened. And he whipped out on his ass. And at the end of the video, you kind of hear, like, Drake's gonna shoot me. She's about to pop yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And then I understand he, like, used that as a sample and already made a song off of that. For sure. Yeah. Drexton. Yes. Yeah, he, like, make sure you don't kill me. Make yeah. sure he's, he it's already pop. out. Yeah, from what I understand. Or at least, like, he previewed it. And, oh, um. Sh- well, Drex did say that they didn't post the entire clip he told the media side look if you're gonna post that post the entire clip post the part where that fool was crying and begging for his life now look that is the that is the bad part about a lot of media sites is that they take sides uh they like certain rappers so they'll make them look good and then they hate certain rappers so they'll make them look bad and i've always said this like everybody can post what they want about whoever they want just don't lie don't cap don't add because that can get people in trouble right uh be honest you know be honest because there is people that smut people up now look i recently did a video on swifty nalgas and i said something along the lines of he was on the smut campaign right and people were like that's what you do no it's not i don't go paying around for people to talk bad about people i don't go posting false news i don't go posting false narratives i give my opinion and that's where it ends i move on i don't sit there and continuously pick at one guy bam bam no you got a video you did some fuck shit i'm gonna talk about it on to the next right number one number two i recently said i wanted to build a super team uh to control the narrative and people are taking that as i'm trying to lie on people no i said to control the narrative so when people other pages are posting false news we're gonna have this team that clears it up no here are the facts here is the 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 proof bam what other media sites don't want to do we are doing it let's continue shit and the thing is that uh that like Drex was uh, off rip was saying like why won't y'all post the full video post the full video so he was pushing the the line to get that out there didn't make its way to YouTube yet but uh. what if this is all uh is there a chance that this is just a progressive marketing strategy for attention man that punch sounded no I don't think Drex will get down like that uh listen anybody thinking that Drex is soft You know what time it is. This could happen to anybody. I don't care you level 10 cholos out there that are going to say, 
Oh, you should always be on your toes ready to go. Yeah, you should. And you should always have your finger on your trigger, right? And you should always be uh, strapped up and have the bandana on and the face mask at all times, right? Come on, homie. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Listen, listen. There's going to be vulnerable points in your life where you might not be paying attention and it'll happen, right? Uh, This could happen to anybody. You could be kicking it somewhere and one of the homies walks up to you. And for some reason, he on a sick one that day, you know, and he might get you, you know. And some neighborhoods have a no homie on homie beef like policy. But listen, others don't. Basically, what I'm saying is that, look. I've been walked up on and big ass fools, right? Hey, Blue Devil, I'll rock with you. And they look friendly, homie. At any given moment, it could have been all a facade just to get me. And I'm nobody. So now imagine Drex, that's a big star. Now he's going to move differently. Now he's not going to take photos with everybody. Or have his team with him. You know? This is, this is, this could happen to anybody. Pretty fucking so. significant. Yeah. It sounded like he really got his shit rocked there for yeah. a second. He got up in there, but he didn't drop him, though. So nah. shit, he was good. Hey, man, that punch, whatever, is like whatever happens after that is what defines and he didn't how keep you handle rushing, that, you know? He didn't even keep rushing him, so it's like, you fucking fool. I would have kept, you got to keep on rushing that nigga. He's stunned. You better rush him. You don't know what he got on him. It you got to be the one to get that up off of him. It sucks because you want to be that you want to be a man of the people. You want to fuck with the fans. You want to be able to take a picture with everybody that asks because you don't want to taint their memory of you or have you have them have a whole different resentment. Okay, but think about how unlikely that situation is. I got a thousand times more haters than Drex the Joint. He brand new. He's mostly got people who just fuck with him and love him. Adam 22. You got a security, my my boy. I was going to say my white boy. What the fuck? My boy, you got security. Drex got this. You got a security. Drex allegedly got this. You don't have to do anything but look over at your boy and give the sign. Drex is trying to avoid going to prison. So I'm only going to use this if it's life or death. Don't compare yourself, my boy. I can't even compare myself because I'm not a movie star like that. Right. I've never taken a picture and had anybody even like talk shit or like even like try to get a clip or like, you know, like that, like that's bad luck. You but then also like that. This is true. I have less to lose <laughs> from that sort of encounter. <laughs> but like, that shit's very unlikely. Like, how many fucking pictures? That all, all the rappers you know, they all take pictures with whoever. And nah, then, I've never seen that. Nah. That's a rare move. Rappers are very selective on who they're going to take a picture. Like, I fall in that category, you could say. So, like, not, not as far as rapper, but rapper podcasts, however they know me. I'm not walking up on certain, like, if we all, like, somewhere on the side street and you want a picture, it's like, nah, bro, I ain't taking pictures right now. We ain't finna do all that. Don't touch me while we taking pictures. Ain't no hugging me and getting all close to a nigga so you could draw down none of that. We good. Like, if we take a picture, it'll have to be, like, a, a, where's the gang of people at? And that's what's going on, fan shit. You get what I'm saying? Hey, listen, he not lying. If you go look at all my photos with the 200 boys after the guests, after we're done with the podcast, I don't do all this, you know. I don't do all that, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what it might be. PTSD? You know, people might think that's funny, but, uh, you know, after you've been, you know, uh, gunned down a couple of times, I mean, you know, you start to look at things a little different, even though it's all family. It's just one of those things I don't do, you know. Uh, plus, I don't like being that close to men anyways. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but Brick Baby is not wrong. He's basically saying, look, if we doing a meet and greet and that's what we doing and there's people around and that's the, that's 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 what it is, then let's get it. But you're not going to just see me on the side street and you're going to want a photo with me. Nah, my boy, it don't sound right. And Adam just said, like, it's a bad look for the homie Drex. No, it's not. 
when you out there in the field, when you a gangster, when you with the business, worse things are gonna happen, homie. That ain't nothing. That's like the 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 least of your worries. Okay? Uh worse things are gonna happen. So look, with that being said, we're gonna kill that video because there's nothing else that I can hear these fools say that's gonna make me change my mind. It ain't it ain't a bad look, all right. It don't make OC look soft. It don't make Drex look soft. Uh, it's part of the game. Sometimes you win some. Sometimes you lose some. All right? Uh, Drex probably got 20 up on his enemies. What's one? Right? I say that all the time. Yeah, you got me once, but I got you 20 times. And what? Right? And with that being said, salute to everybody. We got some more videos dropping today. Make sure you guys like the video, share the video, uh, post the video. Uh, comment down below. You already know. Uh, Hater World, Blue Devil Reactions. Yeah.